Should be good to go. Oh, wait, no. I need to reload because I wasted ammo. <laughs> Shit. Uh, retry. Yes. I don't want to waste those two shotgun shots. <laughs> unnecessarily. You know what's weird? I've been... Um, so I haven't played this for... I want to say like two years or something. Okay. And ammo is, like, I always knew, like, ammo is, like, super limited, but, like, coming off the heels of uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake, I'm like, oh, wow, they give you, like, basically nothing in here, even compared to those two. Yeah, um, the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake definitely appeal more towards the action-y side mm -hmm. of Resident Evil than, like, Resident Evil 7 did. And it's like, that's totally fine. I'm not saying that, that that's a bad thing. But it's yeah. definitely, like, uh... Yeah, like, three, three's, anything. like, super action. Or not, like, super, super, but not, like, just on the spectrum of those three. Was that the toilet? Okay. Where? Let me see. Let me turn back on. There's a, uh... I think that's the toilet in the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. that's it. Can you, can you turn it back around? Oh, yeah. Because that might be in the trailer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that looks like the trailer's uh, ground. Oh, I uh, forgot to introduce myself. Hi. Most uh, people know me as the co-host of Games Session. And also, welcome to my TED Talk, where I will be <laughs> sitting you all here for two hours explaining why where will press slightly better than hot, tall lady. Oh, wait, this isn't my show. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just going to show myself out. Let's see. You know what? I I know at some point that liquor mold spawns around here, and I know it it's not under. yet. But it, 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 it's I'm being paranoid about it. Um, I think it spawns after you finish. Uh, Spider Mom, if I remember correctly. For some well, reason, like I remember like when you're coming out of the main house. So main, because I know you go back in there to. Oh god, you can fucking hear in there too. I can't, so that's also I'm eating, so I'm gonna be looking away as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be going at it by sound alone. That's that's probably the way to do it. Let's see, I don't have any lock picks. Uh, I know where she spawns, but like I would recommend everyone should play horror games with surround sound headphones. It really adds to it. And also with a friend. Yeah, also with a friend helps. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I also highly recommend don't fucking play horror games with surround sound headphones because it is scary as shit. Yeah, that made the PS5 8 demo honestly a lot worse. Oh, I heard like all the footsteps everywhere. Yeah, I'm just oh, like, oh me god. Up. And, like, the chair I was playing with was, like, directly against the wall, so I didn't have the feeling that, like, something was behind me, but it still, like, freaked me out. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't forget to use the, uh, flamethrower during her actual fight, because that does a lot more damage than people remember it- re remembers it doing. Yeah. So, uh, oh, you have a lot of shit there. I do wish I could just drop shit on the floor so I can combine uh, stuff real quick. So, like, Resident Evil Zero style? Yeah. That it, see, that's something I really liked about Resident Evil Zero. I think where they went wrong with that is that they took out the item box too, because like half that well, game is me like slowly shit. shuffling like items throughout the entire game. Dropping shit's just like a ghetto item box. <laughs> uh, God damn it! You still fucking got me. Where is he? Get her! Get her! Like can, like, can you do damage to her right now and they'll kill? I think so. I think you, 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 you do more damage when you're hitting your weird spider sack, but you can still do damage to her. It's okay. just like any other Resident Evil game. Like, hit the boss's weak point, but you can still do damage hitting All right. her. Alright. Surround sound, do your job. Over I can't here, hear I anything. <laughs> you should be glad. Oh! Motherfucker! Oh! You gotta do it, get her! I have played this so many oh, times, and it I still gets me. I forgot how terrifying it is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I need to find a corner. Corners. Oh, oh that is not a corner. That is a hole. 
She's gonna come out of that. Oh, oh, you know what? She's spawning shit right now. So I actually need to track her down. Oh, fucking hate these things. Lump. They're moths that want that want lump. They they just want love. Lumps. They want lump. Oh, oh yeah, fuck no shit. Really use your knife to kill those. <laughs> I'm just remembering all this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you can use those knife to kill those to like observe ammo. Oh I've got how gross she is. I've got her limbs get like longer as the fight goes on. <laughs> Can I not? I oh, can't aim lower. Yeah, nice shot. Okay. Um. Should go grab that ammo. From oh! I did. What? <laughs> nice. Uh, fuck. fuck. Nope. Oh, that's really gross. That's really gross. Oh. Blew up the sack. That's really gross. That's really gross. <laughs> that describes most of this game. Uh, go, go, go. I should have listened. And you're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to like, yeah. hit her. Reload. Chat, I just, please I just keep in mind, this. I haven't played this game for a couple years on this now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nightbreed Gamer. I, I appreciate that, hopping in. That oh, shit. Uh, bye. Hey, hello. Uh, can I open the in chat? Where I should be on. I am. Discord. I'm so glad that Resident Evil 8 is going back to first person. I know. And weird witches and vampires and werewolves. I'm here for it. I, I'm so here for like the yeah. anthology take. I'm just like let, let's make some totally wild uh, Resident Evil games. To be completely fair. Oh shit. I'm, I'm I am. Oh. Are you out of everything? Yes. Oh no. Oh shit. See, this is why I brought. Wait, no. I'm not. I have. Oh, you better oh. fucking hurry, dude. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Ah. Why can't I pause to do shit? Damn you. Okay. Um, I have a grenade launcher. Don't even our gift. Uh, oh, shit. Nope. God, how do I... <laughs> uh, if I was someone with a controller, I would remember these inputs, but I'm not. You can do it, dude. Burner... Oh, I don't have space for it. That's great. Alright. Um, very calmly, let's move some stuff. I know. Uh, Wait, are you it's sure about that? Our... There we go. Alright, where the Okay, she's climbing out. Uh, I do need to make enhanced ammo. Or no, I want to save hurry. that. Just spawning. I think she's over here. I would say it's safe enough for you, for you to use the grenade launcher here. Yeah. Oh! Hey, hey, hey nice! Not dead, though. Still, that was like a direct hit. Yeah, I, I would say it's safe to use the grenade launcher here, just don't use it until the after this. Yeah. If I, I remember correctly. That did not. Okay, shit. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Come on! Oh, Christ. I need to heal. I didn't even know that she could do that. <laughs> I don't remember the boss fight being this hard. I I thought what I was doing a pretty good job. What difficulty are you playing on? I am on normal. Uh. Okay. Now is the time to run and find shit. Where was that burner fuel? I don't remember. <laughs> 
Oh, great. Now, what do you oh, think you're doing? Okay, this is not good. I brought so many weapons with me. I was fully loaded. And it still wasn't. Okay, handgun. Oh, shit. See, I'm sorry she hasn't killed you. Oh, fucking shit. Sniper! Sniper! Okay, I got handgun ammo now. That was a terrible spot to be in, by the way. Yeah, I turned it on. Where did Herb, that's nice. Not really. Gonna... Oh, I think you might have got it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I thought you had it. God damn! I do not remember this fight being so hard. Maybe the game is just fucking with me at this point. Oh Christ! Um. Here, get off, spiders! Don't have time. You should be close. Like I, I would hope so. I don't have any herbs. I was oh. about to say you might want to heal because she might. Oh, shit. Uh. What the fuck is she? Um, she's probably spawning a lot of stuff right now. For fuel. Oh, behind. You got nowhere to go now. Above you. There she is. <laughs> this is so fucking creepy. Are well, because you... her limbs get longer as the fight goes on, which makes it even worse. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to climb up here, but you're gonna have to do it, man. Take it like a man. Where? What the fuck? Oh, there she is. Uh, no, don't, because that thing's in the in the way. Don't. Does that mean? Like, you're, can she like reach through it? Wait, that. <laughs> right here. I guess I need to go over here. What the fuck is she? There, she, there she is. <laughs> I've never seen her hide. What, mother, why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh... Just... What the fuck? Is this- is this musical chairs or something? I would like to fight you now, please. I have ammo. There we go. There we go. Oh, where is she dead? No, I think. Uh, nope. Nope. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How'd you like that knife only run? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no mistakes whatsoever. You fucking stay dead, okay? That's a severe case of psoriasis. Uh, let's see. I know I probably missed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, now would be your stimulants. best time to just go through and start getting everything. Yeah. Burn fuel. Then I think you can put the flamethrower away for a while. Yeah. The flamethrower and the grenade launcher away for a while. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you need them again until uh, Jack. To like way later, yeah. Because like Lucas's area has a couple spots that are kind of annoying, but as long as you have like efficient shotgun and handgun ammo, then you're fine. Let's see, where was that psycho stimulus I saw earlier? Oh, we don't need that anymore. You just know that that it's in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. <sighs> Do you remember where those stimulants were? Couch, you think? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Was it something that was in this area? It was before the boss fight, I know that. 
You might need I, to like go out and then go back in. Maybe. Oh, there they are. Yeah, on the couch. Um, because I always seem to forget shit in this area, but this. Oh, oh, you I actually like use those? I I, I never. I, I think I only use them like once or twice. I always forget to use them. This is just like one specific area. I usually use them. Let's see. Burner fuel. Item layout is burned in your mind. Uh, for for like Resident Evil two and three, it is because I got all the. God damn it. Because I got all the uh, achievements and whatnot. I never actually like fully completed seven like that. For me, that's Resident Evil five. Like I know where fucking all of the treasures are. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally spent a lot of my teenage years just playing Resident Evil five over and over. So I can pretty much like if if I do a blind playthrough with someone, I can pretty much like find where all the treasures are in like a single playthrough. Uh, be careful that that thing might be- Oh, there's the stupid bobblehead. Yep. I don't even think I got all of those. <laughs> Neither have I. Headphones help a lot, though. I got uh, close, but I just kind of gave up after a while. <laughs> I should go grab uh, that check, other shotgun. Oh, I already got it. Okay. It was, uh, magnum ammo. So yeah, now would be a good time to go get the better shotgun. Where is that again? I forgot. It's uh, back in the house, so you have to trade the uh, regular shotgun for the broken. Oh yes, I remember now. Or wait, no, I I don't even have the upgrade thing to fix it. So no, I let's not do that. That's a bad idea. I think I know where the fixing thing is. Um, can you go back outside? Yeah, I already grabbed that one. I use it okay. for the uh, pistol. Okay, because I'm like, I know where it is. I know where that is. Like, mm. like there's two. There's one outside. And then there's okay. one later on. I don't remember exactly where you get it from. You can trade the model shotgun for the broken one. I, th I think the model shotgun is like when you get up to Lucas's room, which is later. It's not that later, is it? Um, like at least in my mind, the way I see the game is like the first stage is like beating Jack, the second is Marguerite, then it's Lucas, and then Evelyn. So it's, yeah, I guess it should be soon that we're gonna be getting there. Are you gonna play Not a Hero too? Um, yeah, it's might free. As well. <laughs> Not a hero free. free. <laughs> I like the other DLC too. Um, End uh, of Zoe is kind of weird. <laughs> was it the one that had all the like weird like games in it, or was it the one where you played as like Bayou, like Bayou Billy or something? There was a whole bunch of them. There was yeah, yeah the uh, Bayou Billy was End of Zoe. Um, yeah, then the there was the one where that where that room of the house was kind of like an escape room. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one I actually won a one one hundred percent because it was really easy. Um, there's a blackjack one. There's like a what if scenario for Zoe. I think that's called Sisters. Uh, there was a yeah. lot actually. I also know that. Uh... Oh, this I probably, hated this area. This is one of my favorite areas of the game. I hated this yeah. area so much. Scared the shit out of me. It's an alligator. He's a gator. Get no gator friend. If he's uh, looking for clues, does that make him an investigator? Yes, but but he needs he needs a tiny hat. God, I hate the fucking scent and oh, the ball. <laughs> that was me. Sorry. Not creepy at all. Yay, tiny creepy virus children. I'm not gonna lie, if I if I have a daughter, I am totally gonna train her to do creepy ass shit like this. Of course. What kind of parent would I be if I didn't? Okay, I'm gonna close that. <laughs> That's gonna close. <laughs> Foreshadowing! Yay! Oh yeah, this fucking bear. I thought it's just a nice little teddy bear, and then oh. Oh, I forgot that that. Oh happened. no. Oh, I forgot. 
It's like my um, dumbass was thinking, don't you take something out of that bear? <laughs> but you don't. It reminds me of that freaking uh, was it the bathroom mirror in Silent Hill Three, where it just like slowly gets all or veiny. Yeah, all where it like engulfs. Uh, speaking of that, the medium comes out in like a week. I am. Oh, God damn it. They, Baby! There's um. There's so many games on Game Pass. I'm like so far behind. Like I have uh, not Life is Strange. Uh, what is it? Jeez, I didn't. Uh, I didn't need a piece of a uh, piece of paper to tell me something that I already know. <laughs> no, what's what's that? Uh, it's not Life is Strange. Tell me, uh, tell me why, please, yes. please tell me why. Oh yes, my I, God. Have, <laughs> I have it installed. But no, the medium comes out on Game Pass this week, so I'm super hyped about it. Oh, I hate this. Uh, hey, Corey. How's it going, man? Just getting some good spooks. I like to hear my TED talk about how Chris is totally a werewolf. We're going to be here for like three for like three hours. I am hopeful that you are correct. I want to be correct. Not for, for multiple sakes, but my own. <laughs> I do not I think it is correct. correct, but I hope it is. I like how this is when Resident Evil just went like, cause like, you know, okay, being totally like, serious here, Resident Evil has always been bad shit crazy, but when they brought in like, creepy like, <laughs> undying like children, and like, turning oh, children oh. into like, weapons of mass destruction, I was like, you know, we're going down a road that I can get behind. Well, it, it's weird because Ethan doesn't even question this shit, he's just like, no, I don't know, yeah, I guess it. I gotta get a head, get an arm, and there's gonna yeah. be a creepy... Girl. Hate to go down. Oh, hello, child. Hate to go down weird Resident Evil fan theories, but like the community's always had this weird feeling about Ethan. They're like, he has to be someone. He has to, cause he takes this shit in stride. <laughs> like in he, total stride. No, this guy is not. Jesus. So it's like Ethan has to be a part of something, or he has to know something, to where mm -hmm. he sees all this, and he's like, yeah, fine. <laughs> He's, he seems like such a blank slate, but yeah, he just takes like, I don't know, it just seems like pretty normal shit The going fact on. that he's supposed to be a normal guy but knows how to use all of these weapons, I'm like, okay, I don't trust this. God, this is really dark. Hey, you know what? You don't even have to fight. Oh, wait, no, that's just a paper. Oh! <laughs> Fuck it. I said not fight, but... Whatever. Run! Run, child! Get yeah, the hell out of there! You can run through basically all of this. Also, if you go through doorways, then they despawn, if I remember correctly. Like, certain certain doorways, the molten will just, like, despawn. And, like, you can actually watch it happen, too. Mm -hmm. uh, in some of the rooms in the house, they'll, like, despawn. And, because, like, you, like, cross the threshold of the door of the doorway, and you don't close the door, and you look back, and they'll just despawn in front of you. But, but then they'll respawn when you cross the door. Yeah, I got it. Again. Are we really gonna be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make Corey it, says there's rumors that they're gonna idea. release a next gen update of seven I'll soon. Well, most okay. likely. Mm. I think it looks pretty damn the good. During the Resident Evil Direct, they had announced that there's a version of. I think it, I can't remember if it, it was part of the deluxe edition or if it's another version where where eight's gonna come with seven. Mm-hmm. And if it's launching on PlayStation 5 and Series X, which it is, I would be utterly baffled if it's not going to launch with that upgrade. It should be pretty easy for him, too. It's just the RE engine. It's kind of like the well, same framework. So there was an update that recently happened to 7, and people thought that that was the upgrade, but it was literally them just adding a pre-order 8 button to the Oh, menu yeah, screen. I saw that. <laughs> and people play were so pissed. Uh, no, I'm playing the PC version, Corey, so this is basically what the upgrade would be, I would imagine. But, uh, yeah, everything's maxed out, 144 frames. I think you guys can only see 60, though, or 30. Uh, let's see, she sent me the trailer. She's not gonna be here, though. Ding, ding. Now, where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need to how does she know how to call the exact time? This is gonna help me, Amy, right? Uh, I think we're calling I thought you should know. I decided that Zoe needed a timeout. She 
and Mia are here with me. Talk about how when Resident Evil 7 came out, Just and, let them um, go. What do you need them for? It was revealed that every character has like a real life person as their face model, like everybody, not just like Chris, but like every single member of the Baker family has a real life face model. That's pretty ambitious. Huh? I was just saying that's pretty ambitious. Well, Lucas's face model is a real life male model. What? And people oh, freak the fuck out because they found his face model and it's dude's like chiseled jaw and like six pack and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> everyone's like, uh, confused feelings. Fuck you. And he's like a super nice guy too. Like he has a Tumblr and people message him questions all the time and he like answers everything. Like he's just a super nice guy. So it's really weird. I really like the idea of there being like a very specific amount of enemies in the game total. Like when you go to the mansion, like they say like, oh yeah, there's 30 scientists. Like it'd be cool if there's only like 30 exact zombies in there. And here's our beautiful officer who is a bit of a growth going. Okay, so real talk. I had no idea that that was the officer from the beginning of the game. Oh, you did it? So Till, till now. <laughs> oh, really? Real talk. <laughs> yeah, like, like we see where it starts growing. That, that's the shovel. He still has one eye. And then I had uh, no idea. the pig. I had no idea. I'm dumb. You, you have learned. I have learned something today. If I happen to go out this way, I think it'd be cool if my head grew like that. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, so uh, how many tokens do I have? I usually don't get the magnum, but I probably should. You should. How many tokens? I have four. I don't think that's enough. Ethan is pretty damn chill about just picking up this head, just like, yeah. And then spinning it like a fucking <laughs> crackhead? Basically. But yeah, I, I'm curious as to like what the actual like in-game time that's uh, that's passed. I don't imagine it's that long, considering like how fast you can speed run this. I mean, it it, it was ran at GDQ last year. What was the time? I don't know. Let me look it up real fast. Don't need that hard. <laughs> It's been ran a couple of years. The most recent time was one hour and 33 minutes. Oh, wow. That's uh, any percentage. Actually, do me turn the volume off. Uh, that was um, new game plus any percentage. So, like, they. So, it was basically starting off from a base new game just not grabbing everything. Mm -hmm. Though, though, at this year's GDQ, Resident Evil 5 was raining in a co-op, which was crazy. Let's see. Gunpowder. Good to go. You can find your speedrun in the two hour section. Nice. I th I, the only real, uh, I guess, speedrunning thing I've done would probably be two and three, and that's just to get whatever achievement it was for like beating under, I think, like three hours. So not like super impressive, just enough to get the uh, challenge or achievement, whatever. I, um, Except, like, the fastest around. I've done Resident Evil 5 co-op I think has been under an hour and 30 but that's just when I have like unlocked everything everything has un unlimited ammo mm -hmm. like that's like just a point <laughs> especially once you get the unlimited rocket launcher that game becomes a fucking joke 
You know, I've never really gotten every like every enemy dies to that in in one hit, even Wesker right at the end. I've never uh, really gotten any of uh like the super cool upgrades because my dumbass every time I I replay it, I just start from scratch each time. Hi, Grandma. Except you're not Grandma. I didn't realize that Grandma's down here. <laughs> Dude, the first time I saw her, it creeped the she fucking shit the out of me. She scared the shit out of me. It scared the little piss out of me the first time I saw her. It won't let you swing at her, but if you start off screen, you can pretend you are. Just cut, cut up, Grandma. Um, yeah, getting the God, really special we weapons in Resident Evil 5 is such a bitch, because it requires grinding out all of the previous ones. Mm -hmm. So, like, to get the sawed-off shotgun, if I remember correctly, you need to grind out all the previous shotguns and upgrade them all the way to the max, if I remember right. And it was just always the worst. It was just so annoying. Because it's like, that literally requires you to, like, play Resident Evil 5 multiple times, and if you're not playing it in co-op, it can be literally a fucking short. Well, it, it, I imagine a lot of that comes down to the AI cooperating with you or not, right? Yeah, that's that's the thing, is that Resident Evil 5, I am 100% under the impression, was not made to be played in single player, because the AI is just fucking garbage. Most of the times I've played it have been single, but I I would I think it'd be better if they, if they just took the approach of, like, yeah, if you need to open a door, just fucking teleport your partner around, don't... Mm -hmm. They just do a lot of stupid shit. Oh, uh, this stuff's gross. Ew, Ethan! Ethan, that's how you get tetanus. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, he doesn't get his shirt dirty. So, or actually, maybe a little bit. Barely. Tiny bit. I feel like this is a good time for me to tell my story of, um... When I did the, uh, Resident Evil escape room that was in San Francisco way back when Resident Evil 7 came out, that was a lot of fun. It was a four-room escape room, and every room was based off of a different game. So, like, the first room was based off of Resident Evil 1, uh, the second room was based off of 2, then there was like a lab room that was meant to be based off of the lab section of two and three. I knew I should have uh, run when I had the chance. Run, oh, God run. Oh, I am stuck. Right in I, am, I am. This is not good. I am out of it. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Close the door. No. Oh, really? Oh, no. Ah, uh, I literally got fucking sandwiched in. No. And it would not let me aim lower from where I was standing. <laughs> okay. Oh. At least it's just right here. So let's just... Let's just dip. But yeah, it was like really cool. And the last room... Now, this was before 7 came out. The last room was based off of like... To set us... Seven, so it was like really cool, and nice. we beat it with forty. We, we we beat it in forty six minutes, and the and the goal was you had to beat it on under an hour. Oh wow! And yeah, I mean, it, me and an old friend did it, and thankfully we, we got placed with like two other girls who had booked that change that that same time slot. And my only complaint about it was all the puzzles were game puzzles. So if you hadn't played the games, you wouldn't have known how to solve anything. Oh, really? What were, like, they what... were heavily based off of game puzzles. Do you remember, like, like, what some of them were? Yeah, so one of the puzzles were in the in the room that was based off of Resident Evil 1. Um, there was this statue in the middle of the room, and the statue had, like, the back of it, like, broken off. And in place of its eyes were, like, different lenses that would highlight stuff on the wall that you had to, like, you had to look through the statue, but looking through it, the stuff on the wall would be, uh, would be, like, flipped. So someone else had to, like, read out what was on the wall to, like, open oh, the door. Shit. There! He is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, like, it was, like, crazy. Like, I think the other craziest puzzle, or the one, the one that was the most Resident Evil, was in the lab area, was a puzzle that you had to like fill a certain amount of test test tubes 
and oh, like fuck. to like to like get them all um, the same length, which was so Resident Evil. And I was charged with that one, and that one was a bitch. <laughs> I, I was not expecting this guy to just fucking L you like, teleport me. <laughs> Alright, I uh, got a lockpick. Damn, I missed a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, and if I remember, we got like a trailer, like, like a Resident Evil 7 trailer that hadn't been released to the public yet. It was okay. <laughs> I was like, hey, congrats for reading it, guys. Here's the trailer that hasn't been revealed yet. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's it. But it was still cool. It was definitely weird doing, like, Resident Evil puzzles in real life. <laughs> was there, like, any horror theme to it? In terms um, of, like, something coming after you? Or, like... Um, if I remember correctly... Instead of the rooms having like ceilings, they had this tarp over them, and they would play zombie sounds and zombie moans in the background, and like they would like hit hit the tarp every couple of minutes. And as as time ticked down, the zombie noises got louder. Oh, nice. So like it it like made you like panic as you like struggled. It's like oh shit. <laughs> It's not this one. It's, uh, that one, I think. I think it might be... No, like, you have to flip it over. Yeah, it's... Like, fully over, not like... Heh, <laughs> oh, shit. Get ammo. <gasps> Hello, gator friend. It's another gator. He turned you up know in the gator. exact same spots. Uh, yeah, it's that one. No, uh, turn around. It's the really... that there one. There you go. Again, it's been a while since I've played this. I'm surprised how much of this I still remember. I feel like when you're playing it, it starts to come back to you faster. Because <clears throat> that's what happens with uh, Resident Evil 5. I say that I remember everything, but if, but if I was watching someone else play it, and... And they were like, "Hey, I'm in this nondescript area. Can you tell me where this thing is?" I would, I would be like, "Uh, I need to have my hands on it mm -hmm. <laughs> to be yeah. able to tell you. You are shit." I have entirely too much shit. Um. Also, my ramen's really good. Let's just go drop some of the shit off. What would be closer, the outside or the uh, mm. room to the basement? I don't know. Uh, can you get to the room on the bottom floor? Yeah. That might be the fastest one at the moment. Prob I think they're probably about equal. Uh, yeah, they're equal. Just go outside. Outside's oh, faster. Oops. Too late. <laughs> I was like, I mean, the door's right there. You just got outside. Let's drop some of this shit off. Drop the shotgun off. Oh, no, I need that one. You have so much stuff, dude. Oh, my God. I got a lot of stuff. Store, store that enhanced ammo. I don't see you using it right, right now. I got seven. Yeah. You're right. I would just store it, wait for it before a boss room, and then grab it. I just like hoarding shit. Oh, so do I. Like, you, you should see my item box in Resident Evil 5. <laughs> or, or my, like, storage box b between chapters. Oh, there's so much ammo in it. Because, <laughs> like, I have, I have this habit that when I have unlimited ammo, I will still collect ammo. <laughs> and I remember the person I was playing with was like, why are you doing this? We don't need this. And I'm like, now I need it. Well, you can sell it too. For It's not that yeah, much. Yeah, I would always but... sell it to get like a shit ton of money. Let's see, let's get that toy axe going. Hey, you have a fancy shotgun now. Yay. It's broken. In no Still, way. you can fix it. This is true. I forgot about this spot. 
Yeah, it's not yeah. mandatory. It's uh, it's a set. just like the game. <laughs> Shoot that shit! Shoot it, Ethan! I am now 90% more Arnold. Yay! Alright. Is that it for the toy axe? I thought you needed it for something else. Guess no, you only... The toy axe is completely optional. Nah. The game makes you feel like you... What... Once an item is either A, taken out of your in in inventory, or B, has a little, like, trash icon next to it, that means you do not It's it. weird. That it's not consistent in here, like, the, um, the keys, like, they don't disappear out of your inventory once you don't need them anymore. No, they get the little trash icon next to them. Because, like, I think I have, like, Because that lets you know key. that you can just chuck it. You don't need it. Yeah, like the scorpion, I I know I've already opened all the doors for it. That's weird. It should have a. Yeah. Oh, I might be thinking of Resident Evil Two and Three. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely. I'm thinking in of there. Two and Three, yeah, because it was Two and Three that added that little trash icon. I'm hoping that Eight does the same thing because I really uh, uh, appreciated that. I would like to be able to pause to do my inventory. <laughs> It looks like we're going to be able to if they're bringing back the like cash, cache. Is that how you pronounce it? The cache system. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Oh, thank you for following Pure Extract. Because if, because if they're bringing that back, then I think they're we are gonna have to pause. <laughs> like that would be mm -hmm. that would be like Demon Souls levels of what the fuck if we can't. Oh, thank you for hosting as well. Um, yeah, that would that would 100% be like Demon Souls levels of what the fuck. If if your wor if your Chris is a werewolf theory pans out, um, we would have pause. <laughs> Big meaty claws. Let's see, that's about right. Nope, not good enough. Nope. Right there. I right, know. I need the axe. There we go. Big meaty claw. I feel so blessed to have been born within the SpongeBob generation. I'm not even going to yeah. call us millennials. Just the SpongeBob generation. But no, I um, I really hope my theory pans out because I'm planning on writing my own pew pew Resident Evil uh theory blog blog post about this. Because if we're if we're being completely serious here, like I'm not joking, I mean completely serious. You can you can make your puns, but this is me being serious. It's the most fitting end to Chris's whole like weird ass loop story that he's going through, to where he's becoming what he hates. But it's also if I think they're gonna do what I think they're going to do, and Corey and I talked about this, what I think they're going to do is Chris is going to become a one of the weird like virus werewolf oh, somehow. So I don't I don't know. But he does it voluntarily cuz he figures out I can't beat this. Maybe it's the giant vampire lady. We don't know. He's like I can't beat this person without becoming what I hate. That would be a good yeah. callback to um the end to of a, 6 to where, a what's Pierce. his name Pierce. Yeah. Granted, it, it he did was. that because his arm got, got uh, a little slicey. Now, do I see them doing it? Hey, look, in... it's John. <laughs> <laughs> do I see them doing it like Piers? No. I don't think they're going to kill Chris off. What I think is going to happen is we're going to get like a naughty hero oh, style. I didn't even no, see oh, you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think we're going to get like a naughty hero style DLC, but with Chris like. <clears throat> What's the word? Like Chris, like attempting to control his weird like werewolf isms. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think he's he he he's gonna die. I think the final fight's going to happen. Uh, spoilers in case I end up calling it. <laughs> I think I I think the final fight's going to happen. Ethan is getting his ass kicked. He's like, well, what the fuck? I can't I can't kill this thing, and it's gonna look like all hope is lost. And then like. This giant, wolf, this giant wolf, like, comes out of nowhere and tackles the evil vampire lady, and that's Chris. 
I want the wolf from Resident Evil 4 that you get out of the bear trap. I want him to come back and, and save you again. I think we're I think we're we're gonna get some kind of chapter right before the end that shows how Chris is the way that he is. And Wait. explain it. And then it's gonna like fast forward again and he's gonna help us with that boss fight. Like that's how I, I think it's I think going the, to go. I think the canon of Resident Evil is in a really weird place nowadays. Um, because there's a two remake, there's a three remake. Like, are those overriding yes. um, the older ones, or, or is it, or is it a are. new timeline? Especially Ooh. with how four might. Help. Did you read that? Go back. So, oh wait, no, this is not it. Yeah, this, this is not the one. People. The one is right at Alyssa oh, no, Ashcroft. That, that she is the, she is the reporter from Outbreak. Yeah. So that technically they had revealed in in this game that she survived the end of out, outbreak. Because mm -hmm. how could she be doing that if she was dead? Um, but no, like that's that's how I see the end of Resident Evil going. Because because like they're not going to kill Chris off. I don't think that's going to happen. Are they going to write him out of the canon somehow? Yes. Will they turn him into a werewolf to do it? Maybe. <laughs> if they turn him into a werewolf, I want him in Smash. Imagine the Rare possibilities. Of Smash. But no, like, I am 100 fully under the impression that that's how it's going to go. Is that, yes, Chris is going to be a vam vampire or a were were uh, werewolf. And, he and he's not going to be evil. I think he's going to be fighting off the urge to be evil, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, I, I, I think he's going to be, like, fighting off, like, the virus taking taking over. But I don't think he's gonna be evil, because them turning Chris evil and making him the villain is gonna make people really mad. Even though like everyone's, ooh, oh like oh even though every everybody's been wanting something like that to happen, it's gonna make people really angry if they actually do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, like, so, oh, that, Corey that, says, remember that Jill grabbed a broken T virus vial at the end of remake three. Yes, and supposedly they they are trying to make the remake stuff canon, so we don't know what that means, but... If, if Blaine's crazy theory that um, 8 is like a, a pseudo-remake of 4, I want Leon to pop out of nowhere and just fucking suplex right. some, some uh, zealots or something. Like, everyone talks I about the roundhouse kick. No one ever talks about the fucking uh, suplex. Suplex? I don't think it's a flat-out remake of 4. I think there's going to be heavy elements to 4 in it, both in story, gameplay, and, like, lore elements, but I don't think it's going to be, like, a remake. Mm -hmm. oh, it is a very smart theory, though, especially because they're not saying, like, what the village's name is or anything. <laughs> uh, apparently, Cory wants me to read you the rest of his messages. They are of, quite, of high importance. Uh, he says, anytime Chris is in jeopardy, or no, let me start above there. He says, but what about Jill? They made a huge deal in five about the importance of Jill being his partner. Anytime Chris is in jeopardy, Jill's there and vice versa. Um, I think can I, can I actually speak up about yeah, this? The yeah, only no, reason I don't see that happening, Corey, is because how they've been teasing Chris kind of breaking away from everything for a long time. Especially because, because okay, I'm gonna put on my Resident Evil lore hat here for a second, and we're gonna dive deep, kids. People seem to forget that the that the CGI movies are canon, and in the last CGI film, which was one that had Rebecca in it, Chris already was having doubts about the BSAA and the U.S. government and everything, and he was also having doubts in Six. It was then in 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 between. Six, the last movie, and seven, they pretty much confirmed the fact that, the B and then Revelations, they pretty much confirmed the fact that, that the BSAA is, has been corrupt from the inside for like a really long time. And Chris is just like really done with it. Like done, as in like this dude just wants to fucking get out. Like he's been done for a while. And the way that they've been teasing this, especially not a, hey, not a hero, but Chris is still working for the U.S. Gover government, and just don't being like, I don't really want to be here, but I can't let him go, come back, and do all this shit. Up, 
I don't think that's going to happen because I think Percy is 100% on his own now. The Especially the way that they're the showing it in the trailer. Man. He just fucking pop pops me up. Like, like that bitch is gone. And it's such an unchris move for him to do that. And he just, I like, mean, joins my, my reaction. Like, my reaction from, from watching it was uh, Mia can take quite a fucking beating. And ter- well, that, that, that sounds bad. That sounds bad out of context that she can take a beating. Uh, as in well, she can literally is, take, like, blades and fucking shotgun shots to the face and she's not phased. Well, because the theory is is that even though she was cured of the mold stuff, the theory is that it kind of embedded itself into her. So mm-hmm. even though she's cured and she's not under its control anymore, she still has, like, the side effects of being pretty much indestructible from it. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm just like, theory, I wouldn't be too worried about her getting shot. Which is the fan theory about why um, why Chris takes her baby. Is that the theory is that her baby has, has some sort of, like, virus infection because of the mold stuff. Mm-hmm. And Chris is like, we can't let this her child live. <laughs> And which I mean kind of makes sense for, for for him, especially because he's just so done with everything. That's why I don't think any other like, if they do a crazy thing and another Resident Evil character, another established lore character shows up in eight, it's gonna be either Leon because apparently there's a fan theory that one of Chris's like masked agents is Leon, because Leon's been like wanting to go against the government for a while too ever since the president died. Um, Hi, creepy clown. So, like, there's, like, just a bunch of, like, like, uh, the idea of Joe showing up is a smart idea. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think this is a game that's strictly going to focus on Chris and how Chris is just ready to move on and, like, how they're ready to, and this is going to sound very bad, it's, like, how they're ready to retire Chris as, like, a main character. Like, he's still going to show up. Like, if... If he becomes a were- uh, werewolf, he's still gonna show up. He's gonna be like off, off, on the off the grid. Like he's like just not gonna be there anymore. But like I don't think they're gonna kill him because because if they kill him, that would be fucking dumb. <laughs> well, I think the strength of seven is that it's a fresh start for people that don't really know the franchise. And if we're not counting the not a hero DLC for for seven. Uh, Chris hasn't been in a mainline game since for like 11 years at this point. Since mm. five came, or no, no, I'm sorry, six came out in uh, 20. He was in Revelations one. He was the main I, I th- character th- in the first Revelations. I think six would still be sooner on the timeline. Because uh, Revelations one was yes, on 3DS. Right. Six would be sooner in the timeline, but after six, he was in Revelations one. He was in the last movie, which again, you have to remember the movies are canon. Oh no, I understand that. I think it's just more so for casual people who are like CGI, trying to get into so. the franchise. They don't necessarily know who. Um, I can't remember what the, what the uh, what the uh, subtitle for the last CGI movie. I think it was Retribution, if I remember correctly, or was it? I don't remember. I forget. I forget a lot of this stuff. Oh, there. Hang, grave, and fetus. 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 I do like that these parts are actually are skippable if you already know the solution for yeah. later on. I mean, it's still really fun to play, because if you still know the solution, and it's like, ooh! First time I did this, it did take me a while. Yeah, it took it, it took me a while, too, because I didn't look up a guide or anything. So... Finger! Finger! I do like how this, like, very optional... Th- well, I because you can miss it, but if you um, small hole in the dummy stomach. Wait, what am I supposed to do now? You need the quill pen for the hand. I don't yeah. remember what goes in the stomach. I'm I'm trying to remember, but I can't. There we go. 
can't remember what goes in the stomach. I just know that you need the quill pen for the hand. How down would you be with the idea that Ethan gets killed off almost immediately in age? 100%. No offense to Ethan, but... It's like, it's weird that they have Chris's face on the... Well, they would have Chris's art. face because, because he Because Ethan was has none. Face. Because Chris is the face of the franchise. It would make sense that his face would be on the... It'd be difficult to open without the password, even though I know it. I remember what it is. Yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, I I can see them using him. I'm but, also calling um, bullshit on this pen or was ooh, it a nail in the? Ooh, ooh, my hands are twitchy. Just won't well, watch it. I hate that scene. Oh uh, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, how did that? How is that fitting in the balloon? Yeah, like uh, but no um. Plus, they're probably using Chris's face because he's going to play a lot bigger part in the story that people think he's going to. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that they would put him on the cover. But people also have to remember that uh, Resident Evil doesn't just throw images around. Like, images have some sort of... Images always have some sort of meaning in Re Resident Evil. Because I'm seeing a lot of people online being like, Chris isn't going to become a werewolf. That, 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 that image is just promo art. It's like, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> I fall in that camp. I don't. That's not how Resident Evil works. I've known Resident Evil long enough and have played enough Resident Evil. Isn't like that. I mean, is there, is there really a precedent for things on box art being indicative of plot details like that? Well, yeah, Evelyn being, being on the box art of Resident Evil 7, and um, I'm trying to think, what was the other one that was really... Um... It's funny, you can go through all the rest of the steps, but this is what will kill you if you yeah. do it as Ethan. I, I would say, though, Evelyn being on the cover of 7 isn't necessarily the same. Again, we just have different op opinions, but I've played the series long enough where I'm like, shit, just isn't just random images. <laughs> and I've played the series long enough to be, maybe it is just promotional material. Oh, wait, no, I need to do the dummy thingy. Um, isn't the is, isn't the password idiot? It, it's loser, I think. Loser, okay. Uh, Corey says, I mean, Jill got infected with a T-virus in 3. What's to say Chris isn't getting infected in this one? Yeah, it would be really big parallels to her, too. Especially because Pierce and Jill were, like, two really important, like, people in Chris's life. So that parallel totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it totally makes sense. <laughs> especially because a lot of people would be able to see that as, like, almost... I don't want to say penance, but like, like, oh, this is what Chris gets for like, I don't know, like, it's like he, weird. Was, he was a bit of a drunk asshole at the beginning of he six. Was, but he lost his entire squad in Resident Evil Six. He <laughs> watched like eight people. Get I mean, he killed. loses a lot of people in Resident Evil Five, and he just kind of laughs it off. I mean, at least Leon mourned over Mike, the helicopter pilot. Yes, but then you have to remember that in this in the last CGI film, Leon did the same fucking thing that Chris did. He became a drunk after losing after watching like a couple a couple people off screen die. <laughs> it was so dumb. He's, he's like, warning so Mike. Dumb. It was so fucking stupid. It was just like this is the same plot as six. <laughs> like it's just Leon becoming be, becoming the drunk. <laughs> It was so dumb. I All just right. remember, I saw that movie in theaters, too. <laughs> Run away, not Ethan. This is Clancy, right? Yes, this is Clancy. I will say his screams here are pretty relaxed for what's going on. Yeah, he's being fucking burned to a crisp, dude. Aren't you supposed this to turn the wheel? You can't, or I, you can, but it won't do anything. It, like, falls off. Oh, yeah. Okay. In other, in other news, uh, Lucas is a dickhead.
That is not one way I want to go out. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. Happy birthday! What a fucking dickhead. <laughs> He, he's also just fucking nuts. Also, don't forget that the uh, that the shadowy organization that he's working for is called the Connections, which is the worst name that Resident Evil's ever thought of. Mm -hmm. All right. Like it is absolutely the worst. Like <laughs> they're like, oh, the shadowy organization called the Connections. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> I really need to go back and rewatch all those movies. I haven't. Uh, uh, the connection done in a while. was brought in in Not a Hero. Oh okay. Yeah. So in a couple of the files. In... Oh motherfucker! God. Oh nice. Um, in in the files you can collect in Not a Hero. I, that... wait, wait, I I need a pause for a second, Corey. You're saying the people that are asking for the tall lady to step on them need help? Excuse uh, they don't me. Know. We we just Sorry. need tall ladies to step on to us. The same person who's literally like, if Chris becomes a werewolf, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Take a guess what I'm saying. I I I will stand for for tall lady. Uh, she's gonna stand on you though. Oh, that's that's a, that's the point. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is she gonna say it on you? Let's see. I probably missed a whole bunch of <laughs> coins. Corey! My god. <laughs> hey, you know what? There's this thing right here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no shame, Corey. I have none. All shame is gone. Out the I, window. I have never known you to have shame, Sarah. I don't have any shame. At this point, I just don't care anymore. Oh, there's something over there. I'm not going back there, though. Fuck that. Yeah, don't go over there. It's not worth it. I will get the other thingy, though. Where's my lockpicks? What am I... <laughs> I wish I was... Let's see, what did Corey say? He said, one of one of my friends watched the new trailer where she's talking on the phone, and he's all, God, I wish, I wish I was that phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. I mean, she's a tall vampire lady. She's a Resident Evil boss. Like, <laughs> there's this dude on uh, well, I guess he's on everywhere, like Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, I think his name's uh, Cloudy McCloudy, and he just like does like fun little video game shorts, and he has one for for the tall lady that's fucking hilarious. <coughs> I was like, uh, people are, people were, and still are heavily attracted to Wesker. So I mean, come on. Wesker fucks, okay. Uh, he, he... we know canon that Wesker fucks, because exactly. he has a kid. I mean, is there canon that Chris is fucked? Uh, the... So. so, and I'm- so I'm not joking here, the Resident Evil community actually considers Chris asexual, because he's so attached to his, like, job, that the poor dude probably doesn't even have time for, like, a relationship. In terms of, like, Confirmed though, is Wesker basically the only one? Yeah. No, Barry. Barry has a kid. Oh, Barry's that's kid true. in Revelation 2. This is true. Moira, I think, was her name. Uh Corey's saying that they have a theory, uh he's watching a video, that's that's a theory that the tall lady is a perfected tyrant. I could see. That would that. be pretty cool. That would be cool. I would be down for that. She could also be one of the Wesker kids. Because there's, like, a shit ton of Wesker kids. Is Revelations 2 worth going back to? Because I don't recall um, enjoying it too much. And it introduces Alex Wesker, which is Wesker's sister. And she's pretty damn cool. I like her a lot. I think Resident Evil needs more female uh, villains. So that's why I'm glad that there's this, like, vampire chick. Um, if this vampire chick is a Wesker sibling, like, I think she might be. You would want to play Revelations 2, because Revelations 2 goes into the idea of the, like, Wesker sibling, which were basically just all, if I remember, clones of, uh, the main Wesker, which was, uh, which was the, uh, oh, what the fuck was his name? Uh, he was the dude that Wesker kills in Resident Evil 5 in that Spencer. flashback. Yeah, Oswald he's, uh, Spencer, if I, I remember 
the Wesker children are uh, loans and Spencer. And there was like a bunch of them. I know a lot of them died, but the fan theory is that the vampire lady might be one of the one of the like another Wesker kid that was like sent off somewhere else. See, I remember really liking the story of Revelations. I just didn't like actually playing it. There's a nail biting experience right here. I'm just trying to show him not everybody wants to Ooh, come back to I don't Hell like that. Ooh. Those are stupid. Because, like, because, like, people are, like, always, like, oh, you don't need to play Revelations 2 for your for canon. It's, like, yes, you do. Like, <laughs> it reveals all the Wesker siblings, and Alex is in it, and Alex is a bit, Alex is badass. I like her. Um. You can, um, crawl around underneath that filthy... I would say pretty much every Resident oh, Evil is pretty self-contained, where you don't, like, need prior knowledge uh, to, to enjoy any isolated few. one. There's a few that are. Uh, I would say five and six in particular. Uh, I would, I would disagree, five. especially with six. I think five works a lot better if you know who Wesker is. And then, obviously, uh, also Jill. Also, five has a lot of revealed that that uh people, like had like a lot of canon stuff that oh yeah about wesker's never... background well wesker's background how where where the t-virus came from which had never been discussed in resident evil games up to that point because because there's that reveal that the t-virus is like made from the specific flower that's in africa and that umbrella was like <laughs> using like the like surrounding villages and stuff and that had never been revealed up to that point and yeah, um, i remember that it's like the big old uh like like cave full of flowers and yeah because people tend to skip the cutscenes in in five but that's the cutscene that reveals that that Wait, was people tend to skip the cutscenes yeah in five because it's just a co-op game so people just play it for the like co-op and stuff well those people are playing the game wrong I they exactly are um but yeah like that was that that one revealed a bunch of like background lore stuff that that was really Im important um oh dude the the I level and i guess not love the uh, the labs that you're in like right after that reveal or whatever where you're fighting nothing but liquors that part's yeah. so fucking hard but i love it oh my god that part's so oh uh the secret item is on yeah, that it's, thing it's... uh that that when when you have the the unlimited shotgun or like the like on the unlimited uh rocket launcher oh, during that is. section it is fucking just you're just like Bing! <laughs> just like taking out armies of them yeah, i don't trust myself nuts. to walk under this you can i think he, uh, uh i am going to i don't want to say you can and then you can't <laughs> god damn it sir. You can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you see me shooting boxes from now on, that's because from this yeah, they, point on, they, they are booby tick, traps. Tick, 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 and they will explode on you, which is not fun. Like this one, I, I know explodes. Wait, can you actually hear them ticking? If you get up really close, it's like super soft. I don't hear anything. Watch is that sound. Yep, oh. that's it. <laughs> I was like, just like, just watch. I'm just gonna keep being paranoid. Okay, that I think it's this one. one. That one's a ticking. I don't hear it. I'm like 99% sure that that one's a ticking one, because I remember getting fucked yep. up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> But no, like, um, I am planning on doing a blog post on, like, what people need. Oh, like, what I think, like, basically what I think people need to play before 8 come, comes out. Things that people need to play and that people need to watch before 8 comes out if they really want to, like, enjoy 8's story to the extent. Because I, th I, I think I, it's hard to say without knowing what happens. But I know with like seven at least, I would say that's a good jumping on point. Well, I also think that they should watch. Oh, I'm gonna spoil my own blog post, but that's fine. Uh, oh, fun fact about this area: 
uh, if you use that keypad right there, the, the, uh, use it and then press, uh, it should have you press the, like, buttons and stuff. It uses the same noise as the menu screens from the original Resident Evil. So, if you, like, press, press it and, like, pay attention to, it, to like, to, to the sound that it makes, it's like, because, like, you know when you're in the menu screen in the original, it's like, quick, quick. I'm not gonna test that right now. Um, but, uh, but in my honest opinion, looking at the fact that they're most likely going to um, take into account the fact that Chris doesn't really trust anything anymore. It sounds similar. It is. It's uh, meant to be the same Oh, yeah, the, cl the clear is. It sounds like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but it, the the what I, what I'm gonna put in my blog, the media that I think people should consume, um, is specifically uh, five, six, sadly six, but I mean six is playable now at this at, at this point. Um, the oh wait, uh, four, five, six, the third movie, and seven. That is a big list for new people. Well, also the games are cheap to get now. Five doesn't take that 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 long to, to be. Neither does six. Um, even though like it feels like a draw, uh, like a fucking uh, what's the word? Um, it feels like a crawl, but six doesn't take that long to beat. I would um, disagree. Uh, six is very long to beat if you try to do all four campaigns. Well, for that one, you would really only have to do Chris's. I would argue maybe the only thing you really need from six is knowing that Chris that that's kind of like the game that deals with his PTSD. And um, yeah, but and that like would also the require you playing his campaign though. <laughs> I I Chris's I'm trying to remember who's I I dislike more Jake's or Chris's campaign. I like Jake as a character. I hate his campaign. <laughs> that is that is fair. I love Jake as a character. Jake deserves to be in more things. Um, but his campaign is utter garbage. And it sucks because, like, Sherry's so cool. <laughs> like, they made Sherry, like, so cool. And she's also, like, kind of immortal because of the T-Virus. Mm -hmm. So it's They like should bring Sherry, Sherry back more. Sherry's cool. Sherry became really fucking cool. Um... Wait, so did it's I, like it's not for I, me I, to I, tell people don't play Jake's campaign because Sherry's cool. But <laughs> just don't play Jake's campaign because it's not good. I forget. Did it did I gift you uh Resident Evil 6 on you Steam? Did. You did. You should play through that sometime. That you that, did, that would be a, and I very nicely say thank you. <laughs> that would be a fun stream. Yeah, It'd be I'll fun do of it. suplex and enemies and shit. I just, I just have to get a controller plugged into my computer. Wait, I can do that because I have the Elite I can plug in. So. Yeah, I, don't I don't think I have it installed right now, but yeah. You can do it. I'll, I'll just have to install it. Oh. Uh, look why? out for that in the future, I guess. <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, no, 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 not now, not now, no. Mother. Oh, fucker. Sure Fucking combo break. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no. What? Oh my! What? Bum, bum, ba -dum, what kind bum. of a fucked up combo is that? Slash smack or no? Slash blast smack dead. As a uh, as a uh, Blaine did to me earlier. Bump bump ba dum. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I was like, I lost my shit when you did that. Oh, that was fucking great. <laughs> I think this box is... Okay. That was fucked up. Where are you? That was so unbelievably fucked up. There it is! I think there's an achievement for getting a headshot while it's jumping. If I remember correctly. Like, I don't know why I remember that, but I swear that there is one because I think I got it on accident. <laughs> I don't know how much... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh that... my god, that was very close. You yep. might just want to back up. 
Um, I just I want to back up. Cross, Don't get too close to because it's going to explode the other one right there. Yeah. Most likely. Let's do it like this. There you go. Oh, that one's still there. Uh, but you, you can just stay crouched. You should be yeah. fine. Nope. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so many wires. Oh, come on. Okay. You might just want to back out of the room and just get rid of the wires. Yeah. Uh. That would have been bad. Oh, wait. There's something on the bottom. Oh, you're right. Steroids. Hey, yo! <laughs> Yay Sarah. for me pointing stuff out! Sarah hooking me up with steroids. <laughs> well, yeah, but you have to pay me. I don't do this shit for free. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> That's not nerve wracking at all. Oh, I hate this area. Oh, I hate this area so much. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies. This is this is where the biggins come out, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're coming out. Oh fuck. <clears throat> Ooh. Why won't you fucking die? Cause you have terrible aim. <laughs> I am doing okay. I just took a lot of shots. Hey, nice. Yeah, knife him on the ground. Nope. <laughs> he, he crushed the evil. Knife him on the ground. <laughs> <coughs> nope, so. Nope. Moving. A little bit. But yeah, there's gonna be a big boy fight right around here. Big boys. I think there's two. I think he throws two at you. I don't know why I I'm remembering think you're number right. two. <laughs> like I don't know why I'm remembering the number two, but I swear he throws two at you. Oh, <clears throat> I had to be up early today. It was fun, though. It was fun, but I had to be up at like 7 in the morning today on, on, on a day off. <clears throat> Let's see. Is that enough? Oh, no. If I'm bringing my burner fuel, should probably bring the gun it's used for. I will be right back. I... Th you know what, last time I thought I had enough ammo, it wasn't, so let's overcompensate a little bit. Alright, no, we can't make flamethrower rounds right now. Or no, was it? It's strong, and fluid, and gunpowder. Or no, solid fuel's what it is. Alright, so let's make that. Let's actually move you to our first slots. Do a pretty damn well kitted out. I believe there should be a. There we go, save box. Save tape, cassette. Whatever you desire to call it. Please let there be no more fucking bombs around here. But of course there's gonna be. Just like that. Oh no, I used a fucking enhanced bullet. Shit. Are you, are you, are you dead yet, son? Not quite yet. I did waste a good bullet. Good morning! Oh, I forgot my phone.
probably clean up all this these items before we start. <coughs> How much shit do they have on their fucking property? They have a main house, they have a guest house, they have an old house, well, they have a big old fucking creepy be, basement. It's meant to be an old New Orleans plan, plan, plantation, or like, near a plantation. So, their family probably owns like, the land, and not just the property. Mm -hmm. So... Oh Makes boy, for a good horse, Annie. <laughs> useless southern knowledge that I have. about that. Alright, big boy time. Ladies and gentlemen, boy boys and girls, welcome to the bonfire! Oh, dude, the mine fight where you're Keep fighting two of these at the same time is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> the Ugh. mine section is just so bad. <laughs> yeah. Everything past this section is just bad, and I feel so bad for that. <laughs> I think as soon as you get to the tankers, is where the game tanks a little bit. No, I mean, you are wrong. I mean, the first tanker section, when you're playing as Mia, I actually like that section a lot. I think that's really cool. It sets the atmosphere and stuff. But, like, the other times, it's just not good. <laughs> Which, like, really sucks, because it really brings down a really good, good game. Yeah. Nope. I don't think I've ever really locked them in the uh, stairs. Oh no, don't they explode? Yep. Yeah, they explode. Shit. You don't want to get you don't want to be close to them when they uh, die. Oh, I guess it only was one. Oh. That, oh, well, maybe I was thinking of the mine section. Yeah, the mine fight can be pretty rough. I think that's like the last actual fight you have to do before the boss fight, which you admittedly don't have to do too much with your own ammo. I think it's pretty on the rails for the final boss. Uh, depending on the difficulty that you're playing on, they provide you with a lot in like the room leading into the boss. Mm -hmm. Like, they provide you with a ton of shit, depending on the difficulty. I don't know how it is on normal, because I've always beaten the game on easy because I'm weak. There's Clancy! Oh, whoops. That is a knife. <laughs> That's a knife. I You use it to pokey things. There's hey, uh, Clancy. Clancy, by the way. 1408. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Clancy. Clancy, I believe, was the playable one in the first Resident Evil 7 demo that, that came out. There was that, um, I forget what the teaser was called, where you're playing as, like, an unknown person, you get up to the roof, whatever. And then there was the uh, I demo. I remember there was, it was so, It was uh, the one with, like, the ghost lady. That was, like, a separate one. Yeah, so, uh, fun Resident Evil fact. 1408. Oh, yeah. Uh, they actually started teasing Resident Evil 7 all the way back to when PlayStation VR was first announced at E3 because Capcom. Oh yeah, they called it a uh, kitchen, right? Yes, Capcom had a playable demo when VR was announced, and it was called Project Kitchen, and you were sitting in the kitchen that's in Resident Evil 7. And you were just sitting in a chair. And there was this ghost girl that would come out. <laughs> and... Can I just say real quick, it's incredibly stupid that Ethan agreed to this. Yeah. Ethan's not the smartest Resident Evil protagonist in the, in the room. But I think we have come to know this. Uh, yes. But, uh, yeah, like, people had no idea what the fuck it was, even though it, it, it was in the Resident Evil font. Like, the name Project Kitchen was in the Resident Evil font. <laughs> And no one knew what it was. And everyone's like, what is this? It's like, it's like, 
at the time, no one guessed Resident Evil because it was so unlike Resident Evil because of the whole ghost, ghost girl and stuff. And it was actually Mia that that dragged you out of your chair, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. But at the time, no one knew it was Resident Evil, and then five months later, Capcom re- revealed Resident Evil, which was really cool. I never got to play Kitchen because I can't use a VR, but I I I had read about it. People who had played it, and they were like, it was legitimately ter- terrifying, and it it was so cool he- having it lead up to like to a uh, Resident Evil. <clears throat> How annoyed do you think people were that didn't find the tape for this? Like, just like, uh, how, how, how do I get past this? You just keep going. I mean, it's not that hard to miss. And the beginning I of the game agree. kind of implies you to, to, like, pick up tapes <clears throat> and we'll watch them. So, I mean, kind of. <laughs> mm-hmm. Balloons. Let's not get that. Yeah, don't get that, because that's what oh, well, kills I, you. I tried to put the fucking wheel on here. You, oh. You, oh, you need yeah, to light duh. the candle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to light the fucking candle. I'm surprised how chilly is about having uh, his arm sewn back on. I didn't get my yeah. foot chopped off this playthrough. Oh, you uh, had that happen? Oh, no, I didn't. Not this time. Oh, okay. How did these get lit? Oh, that's a question. <clears throat> we can walk away. We don't have to stand right here, Ethan. Yeah, you don't have to fucking... <laughs> Motherfucker! You're supposed to die! Uh, you have to... Oh. I got really close on this my first time playing. Like, I had like a second or two left. Oh no. I love how just casually Ethan drops it. <laughs> yep. Couldn't he have just like tossed it over here and just been fine also? Don't get too close to it. It's not gonna be that big. Okay, that maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold up. I like the chair spin. Yeah, like. <laughs> Mia? Mia? He doesn't care Mia. about Zoe? <laughs> Fuck Zoe. Where are you? Where are you? He don't give a shit. Her hillbilly uh, uncle's gonna come save her anyway. He knows that. Well now, Ethan. The fuck do you want? You? Dead? <laughs> Guess that's not in the cards. Not yet. Lucky me. Look, unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh. you. <laughs> I just now whoever I voices you. Ethan, he just now sounds bored the entire time. Basically, he he starts getting like a little bit more of a personality, <laughs> and um, I think it's after like the first like formal boss fight with Jack. Um. But yeah, he, in terms of like voice acting, like inflection, Fine. everything gets pretty limited. Right, let's get my shit back in order. More swords. Have you ever played Deadly Premonition, by the way? No, I tried to play the first one. Like, I get the appeal of it, that it's so bad that it's good. I just couldn't do it. I don't blame you. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, that should be good for now. Oh my yeah, re- god, Ethan's voice actor looks like the most boring <laughs> Maybe that's why they cast him. Wait, like I he hear like, bobblehead. He just looks so bored. <laughs> or like he just looks boring. Like he just looks like stereotypical white dude. There we go. Actually, you know what? I should carry some regular freaking ammo. Hold so on, I'm gonna I'm gonna post ammo. him in the chat so that. Mm. 
need to post in the chat to show how fucking boring this guy looks. Oh yeah, let's take these. Here's Ethan. You see a boring <laughs> lad. Look at him yourself. Uh, can't at the moment. I mean, oh, stupid fucking... I keep calling it a rotator thing, it's called a fucking crank. Todd Soli. That's his name. Just look at this boring white dude. That's, that's, that, that that's, is Ethan. That is indeed a, a very Ethan-like name. Let's see. Let me pop this up on my phone. You said it was in the uh, Discord chat? No, it's in the Twitch chat. Oh, okay. I'm coming. I did pop drugs, so I should be able to see where all this stuff is. Because that's how drugs work. What did you think of this boss fight that's coming up? Ooh, what's this boss? Oh, isn't this, uh, Jack? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a really evil boss fight. <laughs> he has all the big shooting parts on him. It's definitely the most Resident Evil boss fight, that's for sure. Yeah, it's an incredibly Resident Evil fight. So, I mean, I wasn't... It was fun. I know sometimes it can get a little hard towards the end if, uh... If, like, one of his eyes is, like, in a weird spot. And, like, that's the last one you have. I have a lot of ammo. That, that is good. I'm going to need it. So when was the last time you played this? Oh god, probably when, uh... What is it? Um... When... End of Zo... Was that the one I played as, uh, Bayou... Bayou Billy Man? By you, Billy. <laughs> yes. I can't remember his name. Uh, it was back when End of Zoe and Not a Hero came out. So that was like I played a year Nata, after or something. I played Not a Not a Hero like four times. I'm not gonna just to get everything. Deal with you guys. Because I was like how addicted to Not a Hero, especially because it was free, which was really cool. At Cap uh, Capcom. Mm -hmm. Capcom being like. Free. <laughs> well, they technically made it free because it didn't come out. Yeah, on its original date. Mm -hmm. If I it's remember correctly. Move on their part. Yeah, where they were like, okay, we're just gonna make this free. So here. Plus, it technically, cause like the one thing that that the base game didn't do, which I would have wanted it to, was like give give Chris more of like the new background and stuff, which is why I'm glad they made Not a Hero free. Was because they're like, oh, sorry that a we missed the date, and b this is what you all wanted. This is giving Chris backstory to why he is here, why he's with umbrella people, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm glad they made that. Yeah, it was I a weird that. note to leave off on for seven, which is like, yeah, yeah here's Chris in an like, umbrella yeah, hel helicopter. You're like, wait, what? Yeah, like, who are you? My name is Chris. Rick from umbrella. Why? <laughs> like. And then people were, people were really thrown off because it was just like, what? you don't look like Chris. Because <laughs> yeah. they redid oh the my face God. or whatever. I remember, I remember when that leaked. It leaked about a month before the game came out because someone got, got an early copy and it was leaking who the like main series cameo was. And that's how I met one of my really good friends was he had posted on Twitter, I know the cameo, I won't post it, but if you want to know, DM me. It's like, you don't fuck it. So I DM'd him, and he sent me the picture of Chris, and he's like, oh, it's Chris. And I go, that's not fucking Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, it's Chris. I'm like, no, it's not. That is not Chris Redfield. <laughs> I'm like, why is he so small? <laughs> I'm glad they're kind of reeling it back in for eight, at least. Well, so, so Capcom's excuse 
was that they claimed they wanted to make Resident Evil 7 more realistic and that no one realistically looks like Chris did in Resident Evil 5, which is an utter fucking lie. Like, body, like, body, bodybuilders exist. I think that's why like, I love Chris. It was so weird. Like, that was Capcom's reasoning. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. Bodybuilders exist. You could have just, like, mm. body scanned a bodybuilder. Like, it's not that hard. But then Capcom was like, oh, we did think Chris's face was realistic. I'm like, what bullshit is this? I mean, just don't have him punch any boulders. You should be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, don't have him punch any boulders and you're good. <laughs> like... Oh, wait, I was supposed to bring the virus, or not virus shit, the uh, head and the arm. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Whoops, bye. Hi, Mia, bye, Mia. Wait, so they have a kid in eight, right? Supposedly. We don't know if the fan theory is that the kid, Mia, there's two fan theories. One is hella problematic. The other one is that Mia was pregnant during the events of Seven, and she didn't know. And it was Ethan's kid, obviously. Um, Would this the other make one her is, Mama Mia? Mia? Huh? Would yes, this make yes, her... It, yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> the other theory is kind of problematic. Right here. And people are hoping it's not that. Oh, let me guess. Like, it's Jack's kid or something? Not far away. He's coming. The theory He's coming. is... I mean... Good. Trigger warning for non-consensual is that Evelyn used the mold to get Mia pregnant so that she could have a family. So after we make the serum, what's next? That's pretty oh, bad. Outside. Yeah, that's the other theory. People are hoping it's not that. They're hoping that Capcom doesn't go that route, and that is, and that the route is basically oh. Um, hey. One of those is mad. Mia was just pregnant with with a uh, uh, Ethan Kier in the event of seven. Didn't know. Uh, he does look like a Resident Evil though. He gives me five vibes in yeah. like a good way. <laughs> Looks very Ouroboros. Yeah, look incredibly Ouroboros. Incredibly. <laughs> I forgot how fucking hot it is. Shoot the eye! Shoot the eye! Shoot the eyes! I need to reload! Jack. Yeah, I love just how it's done. Like, this is getting old! No scope in these, dude. <laughs> oh, God damn it, I forgot he could do that. Oh no! Alright, I need to. God damn. I am losing all of my fucking health items. Run! Ladder! Oh wait, no. Let's go back down there. <laughs> I think I'm out of healing items, so let's not fuck this up. You can do it. I have faith in you. I don't. I think so. He's just constantly talking shit to you. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, where's the... I, I don't want it. No. Okay. Oh no, I didn't want to do that, no! 
That was a waste. Really dumb question. Did you get around to playing the, uh, the Maiden demo? I did, yes. Okay. God oh. damn it. Oh. I have a dog. Come on, stupid lizard tail. Are you using the the stronger shotgun? Yes, I am. I need health. Ah. God damn it. No, you were so close. Yeah, it's um this that last part can be a little annoying because you can't dodge, like you just have to take those hits. And so I was just out of health items, so I'm just fucked basically. So let's just give myself some more. Oh. And oh, so you wanna give me time to make them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really like the Maiden demo. I did too. I just I I I hope that it's kind of like the demo for Seven, and it gets updated over over time. Oh, I forgot about that. Cause I, well, cause there was like a bunch of doors that you couldn't go into. And I'm feeling like I think that's what they might do. Like I, I, I don't know any better knowledge, nothing. I just have like I just had that feeling playing through it that it was really short. But it, but if you remember, the demo for seven was really short when it first came out, and then it got longer and longer. So I just have a feeling that that's what's going to happen. I think they're going to slyly update it though. I don't think they're going to like say anything. I just think like you're going to boot up your PS5 and then say like, oh, maiden. Updated or like, oh. Eyes on the prize. Shit. Sorry, my uh, I was gonna say something, but. My cousin has played a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, Cold War Zombies and, uh, Warzone, and he just happens to use Cowboy Adler as his, like, character skin, and a couple days ago, he just started sending me Snapchats of him doing, like, Warzone stuff, and my favorite one was, a couple days ago, he sent me, like, the, the cutscene before, like, a Warzone game starts, and he goes, and then I just hear him yell, IT'S YO BOO, CUZ! <laughs> just like over what I was playing on the screen and it was, it was, it was wonderful. Nice. And now he just sends me like Snapchat and he's playing zombies and more thought of using using like, I'm just like, bless you, thank you. At least your family's down to support your Call of Duty ships. So like... Whenever I bring up my fictional husband to my mom, she's like, so when are you gonna get a real boyfriend? I'm like, leave me alone, mom. Never. I'm like, leave me alone. Oh. But it's like, also, like, who the fuck's dating right now? We're in a pandemic. Like, I am surprised when I hear people just like, oh yeah, I got a boyfriend. You're just like, how? Why? <laughs> maybe no? Have you considered, maybe no? Yeah. Let's see, where's the last eye? On his belly? Oh, no, on the back end of the table. Yeah, like, I don't have time to fucking date somebody right now. We're in a pandemic. I'm not getting six feet close to a stranger. <laughs> like, no. Oh. Nope. Oh. I think you're close. So. I think this starts around you. Yeah, I think so. Because you need to shoot his eyeball in his head. What's he even digging into? I'm like, I'm standing up in this. Oh, don't stand in the middle of it! <laughs> oh, God. 
I think if you have the grenade launcher, now it's the time to use it. I do not have it. <laughs> Oh, I think you might be good. Yeah, I think I just did it right here. Yeah! Look at you! But then yeah, he comes just... back like three times anyway! No. Even in the I DLC, he comes back yeah, he in comes a Yeah, he comes back again in, in fucking End of Zoe. Spoilers for End of Zoe, I guess. Ethan, this way. <laughs> Who are you gonna save? Who are you gonna save? There's you? only one true answer. Zoe? No. The, uncle. the uncle will take care of that. Yeah, the uncle saves, saves them anyway. Oh. 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 Unless you don't get the best ending, which is if you save Mia. I'm like, Mia's been trying to kill me this entire game. Are you alright? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. when I initially played, I did oh. choose Zoe oh. because I'm like, Ethan, just let Mia go. This is not worth the trouble. You should yeah, not have come here. not worth it. Should have fucking left. So in my heart, the right answer is Zo, but the power of cannon. But if we don't save Mia, then Resident Evil Eight might not happen. How are we gonna do now? I mean, I know you helped me and everything, but uh. Sorry. It's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. But Zoe. Go. Poor fucking Zoe, dude. Both of you just go. I mean, she gets saved, so, and she's oh okay at the end of End of Zoe. I'm so sure I mean. there's someone who can help. But as far as you know, right now, that's not a <laughs> that's not a possibility. Wrong. What? I mean, as far as you also, know, when you're making this decision, yeah, you're not aware that that's gonna happen. No. Uh, where is it? Did you forget about your uncle? <laughs> yeah, they, they conveniently don't bring him up right here. Yeah, like he came back at a good time. It's like, bitch, you have an uncle. <laughs> I I imagine I'd be very dramatic if my chance to yeah, live was Yeah, I would be too. Because it's that, like, that was my one chance of like surviving this. And now it's gone. <laughs> it would be a moderate to high bummer. Moderate to high. Yeah, just a moderate. Like, bums you out a little bit, I guess. And hooray, we're going to safety. Ethan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I going to choose? Ethan. <laughs> That's such a weird way to put it. Also, like, Mia doesn't sound like she wants to be saved, so yeah. it's like... <laughs> I know you've been through a lot. But we need to talk. Let the Zo saving Zo be canon, lost, but you know what? If you do save her, she dies like almost immediately. So I just yeah. Know the truth. Whoops. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <sighs> Is that the boat? How the fuck did that get here? It's still pretty crazy that a boat managed to land up here in the fucking It's a fucking swamps. cruise ship in the bayou. Someone would have said something. Yeah, someone would have brought it up. <laughs> You're okay. What the hell was that? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? I will say, playing as Mia, if, if you choose the Zoe path, is is weird because you go back to Ethan, then you find Mia, then she, you have to do a little boss battle against her. Yeah. Yeah, they probably could have cut Ethan's tanker segment out, I guess. Just stick with Mia doing it. The hands look really nice in here. <laughs> I turned off the uh, depth of field because it just kind of makes whatever is immediately in your face a little blurry. Yeah.
Oh, let's see if we can see his face. It's Don't worry, you certainly can't. Ethan. 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 It's like, don't worry, you can't. <laughs> it's so weird to me that they go through so much effort to hide it. Just, it's, just give him a face. Like, what? There's no like big secret or reveal. Well, should... it makes me think that like Ethan has to be related. Like, he has to be somehow Im important to something. Because why would they be Maybe. hiding his face this whole time? I think it's just a weird first-person uh, camera thing. We just don't bother. I mean, they did give Gordon Freeman a face. They, But they gave Gordon Freeman a face. Though. Oh, no, that's what I said. Because, like, they gave him a face, yet it's first person, so I don't know why Ethan... We have seen have Master face. Chief's eyes and some of his forehead. And some of his forehead. And boy, was it a hell of a forehead. They gave the Doom, the, the doom guy a face. Yeah, you do so see his evil face. version's face. So, I mean, like, why don't they give Ethan a face? What are some first-person faces you don't see? Uh... I want to say in Dishonored 1, kind you of, like, you, you see paintings of yourself, but not... His name is Ethan Hale from Resistance. No, you see him in third-person cutscenes. Well, you, well, he's, well, he's still a first-person character, but you see his face. Oh, no, I, I'm saying for first-person characters with no face. Oh, I'm trying to think. Look um, at all the moldy people. That's not creepy at all. Uh, the dude in Doom 3... You see him. There's some I don't third the person question test. that you're asking. I oh, know the, the question I'm asking is, what f first person shooters are there, or I guess first person perspective games where you do not see their face? Uh, um, I'm trying to think. I know okay. you see your face in in a uh, cyberpunk. Um, What's up with the know. mirrors in cyberpunk? By the way, oh, let's bring that up like forever like, ago. <laughs> yeah, you can't use a mirror unless you activate the cyber mode on. <laughs> unless you need to like stand close to it, and then it reads you. Mm -hmm. Um. God, I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, Penumbra? Those horror games, Penumbra? I don't think you've seen your face at all. Mm -hmm. Um. Does Portal count if the face model technically exists? Because there's models of shell out there. Uh, no, that, that wouldn't count to me. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't know. Like, uh, to be completely honest with you, I, I don't I, know. I would have to go down, like, a list and, like, remember, like, like on the spot, I'm just kind of like, fuck. Because I'm like, I know there's first-person games where the main character's face is modeled. Because, again, I think back to, like, the Resistance games. Ooh. Ooh. At least he fits in pretty nice. She's not my child. Uh, he also has something that you can grab off him. Does he? Yeah. No, oh, no, it's just attack. Oh, okay. God, playing through this the first time was so fucking scary. Yeah, because it's like just completely dark. That was the feeling I got going through the Maiden demo. Was like it's just fucking pitch black. I love first person Resident Evil. Like I really enjoyed two and three, but I think just like the camera perspective does so much for it. I actually hate to to dip out early, but I'm actually really sleepy. Oh, yeah, so no I'm problem. Sure to before I go to bed. Thank no you for having me here to commentate Resident Evil shit. Very?
<laughs> yeah, you're always welcome. It was it was fun. If if you play through three again on stream, I'll totally commentate through that too because I like three. Um, I was probably gonna do two next because I that's the one I haven't perfect. played in a while. But yeah, I can do three. But yeah, I guess people look out for us most likely going to co-op six together. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Remind me to download it, like, as soon as I'm done with this. I'm gonna download it right before I, like, as soon as I quit off of this, so. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Right, Bye, dude. Let's see. Nightbreed. Nightbreed Gamer says, honestly, with all my playthroughs, Jack busting through the wall scared the life out of me every time. It doesn't happen to me every time. Like, I think the first time I played through the game, it didn't happen. But every time it does, like, yeah, just always fucking gets to me it's uh. same thing with the um well i guess there's more of a build up to a bone every he uh, chops your foot off i think it's only happened to me like twice but it definitely gets me each time what are you talking just about? good old body horror Set! wait i'm tired of waiting All right, so we need a fuse thingy, strange bottle. Oh wait, shit, fucking liquor's over there. All right. This is open, but there is, no, it's not this one. I do need a knife of some sorts. Just remember that that's there, I guess. Okay, now there's going to be a mold in here. Gun is in the room in the corner. Okay. Machine gun ammo. Grab that. Is Is the gun in this room over here that you mentioned? Did I just like totally miss it? By the lick. Oh, okay. Alright, so we got the fuse for that. Nope, that's the pills. Don't. Oh. I'm always paranoid to see if you're over here. No, I guess I should probably explore a bit, huh? Nope, nope. <laughs> um, shit. Okay, yeah, I guess let's go to second floor. Um, I'm constantly blown away by how good this game still looks. But, uh, you seem pretty, um, pretty knowledgeable about 7. Like, I am, I am pretty damn knowledgeable about Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and 3 Remake. 7 I've never really gone in, in depth with, for whatever reason. Maybe it's something to do with the camera perspective throws what? me off. What? Why? You need to remember, so we can be a family. Creepy girls are always nice additions to any family. Yeah, I really need to go back sometime and just get all the uh, achievements, trophies, whatever, for 7, because I've done it for basically every other game in the series that I've played. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm going to let you die. She didn't attack you? 
part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? All right. Um, like how Joe, Jack's brother, lives in the swamp and isn't infected. Do they ever hint at that? Um, within. Oh, can't store that. Forget about that. Let's swap these items around, though. Um, do they ever hint at that in the main game? Or is. Because I, I know he's in the DLC. I've played the DLC. And this is a damn great uh, empowerment moment of just like, yeah, you're kind of using like single shots, pistols, and you can have a shotgun, whatever, but full on assault rifles, pretty. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's over here. Um, not often you get full assault weapons. She's vomiting. Damn. I'll have to reset. Imagine having an AK-47 in this. Uh, it, it'd be a very different game. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. There we go. It's still kind of weird to go through this level twice, but it is what it is. Yeah, it'd pretty much be a horror first-person version of Resident Evil 6. 6 is, uh... I mean, I mean, you can still do, like, some pretty action-y stuff in 5, but 6 totally takes it to a whole another level. Let's see, avoid fights if I can. We need the corrosives for that. So at least mark it on the map. Supplements. There she is. Keep mashing the elevator button. Hopefully the uh, mole doesn't come around this corner. Oh, fucking damn it! Should have known. That was a that was far too close. It's not responding. Why is it not? There we go. Bye, bu <laughs> uh, let's see, what was my favorite campaign to play in Resident Evil 6? Uh, probably, definitely Leon. And, like, even aside from it being, like, one of the more, or I guess, closest to what a traditional Resident Evil would be in terms of, like, regular zombies. It's not zombies with machine guns shooting at you. Um, that's definitely Leon's campaign. But just in terms of, like, overall design and pacing, I think Leon's campaign is probably still the best. Like, Chris's levels are, it's a lot of shooting. Um, Jake's levels tries to do a lot of, like, weird diversion stuff. Like, oh, you're lost in a snowstorm. You do some, uh, some weird snow bike stuff. Do, um... Gotta go around collecting these little ID chips, or... I don't, I don't remember what it is. I think it's, like, SD cards. So, Jake's, I almost want to say, is better than Chris's, but it's so all over the place. So it has, like, s some highs, but also has probably the lowest lows of six. And then it is is kind of a weird grab bag. Um... It's the one I've played the least. I've probably played it like, what, three, four times? But Ada's is pretty good. 
Especially, it's, it's the one with no co-op too, so. Which, uh, at least they can like cater like her, her specific levels to that. Actually, you know what, I should use these bombs, so I'm not wasting ammo. Don't tell me you're still alive. Got anything for me? No. Uh, you think you finished Chris's story once and that was it. I have played Resident Evil 6 far too many times. Like, I unironically enjoy it. I know a lot of, there's just a lot of issues with the game and, and most of them are very widely justified. Um, I don't know, it's guilty pleasure of mine if you want to call it that. I, th I think... Chris's campaign stands out a bit more if you're in co-op because it's just a good, fun, dumb shooter at that point. It, it's pretty middle of the road. It doesn't have anything like super spectacular. Oh, and you know what? The uh, the final boss in, in Chris's campaign can be such a pain in the ass because you can run out of ammo. And um, Are you mad that makes it... No, so, Evie, so annoying. I, I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? I don't want to live in the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just just come back with me. Right now. Okay? Where are you, Evie? Okay, so I think we're done here. Oh, there she is. Uh, you see, you like Resident Evil 6 because the stories aren't the same, kind of, and played the same way. I completely agree with that. I think they're all different enough with the levels. Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <coughs> are you okay? But, um, yeah, they're, they're all different in terms of, like, the narrative, the, the pacing, the way they... I mean, they all control pretty much the same, but it's, like, the, the weapons they give you, the, everyone's, like, special, like, melee attacks and whatnot. They really set each other apart. And so that's what, that's what keeps it fresh for each time. And that even goes for Ada, too. Some of the. Oh, uh, fuck. Wait, they're still coming. One. They're both crippled, though. Got more bombs. Let's see if I can dip out of here before they come. Just barely. Leon's is definitely, like, the highlight, though. Ah, god damn it, still fighting. Shit. Uh, out of bombs. Ah, uh, fuck, I left you behind me too. Probably should have killed him way early. But I managed to unscrew the situation, so that's good. Now, come on, elevator. Hurry. I can hear him coming. Come on. Can make health kits, psycho stimulants. Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. <laughs> Alright, so where am I 
we're supposed to go? Back to whatever his name is. Evie's upstairs. Alan? Alan, where the hell are you? I like how I call him freaking Richard. His name's fucking Alan. Get that corrosive shit going. I do like how where you use the corrosive stuff here actually impacts um, the present timeline. It's a nice touch. And we're rewarded with uh, weapons. Throw strats over here. down into the um fuck I'm supposed to go back in the elevator right? nope out of there oh wait no I am supposed to go through there and then use the uh I'm supposed to climb out Come on, I am opening the door for you. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I want to explode you, but you will not. Oh, okay. What? Can I shoot you through the door? <laughs> I've never had this happen. Okay, there we go. Let's just ignore you. Couldn't even get the door open. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Um, since Resident Evil 6 Complete was on sale for like $8, you bought it. Yeah, I, Resident Evil... Man, I would tell people buy Resident Evil 6 at $60. So if you're getting it for that price and it's complete, fuck yeah, go for it. I don't think Resident Evil 6 is like a fundamentally bad game. I think it has flaws. And there's like some lows, but it's not like a bad game by any stretch. Okay, so we're back up here. Goodbye, 17 gigabytes of space. I miss when games were that small, to be honest. Nowadays it's so insane. How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts me. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Alan, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to take to, control. To... You have to fight her. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't! We're all dying a little, Alan. You're not special. Get over yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I love how how thin they um, they stretch their reasoning on. Yeah, I don't know. There's like a, there's a host mold who's Evelyn, and she's able to control reactions in people. I like looking at them, uh, looking at them. Some kind of pheromones of the virus communicating between the two, and it's it's like super thinly explained. But I'm all here for it because it's allowing Resident Evil to branch off into some pretty cool directions. Bandit, are you messing with boxes? Are you supposed to do that? 
Now you have to come say hi, buddy. There you go. Say hi, because you're a little troublemaker. I'll go. So you've done some big uh, research on Evelyn? Anything big come out of it? I just love, like, dumping into, like, freaking uh, game wikis for this kind of stuff. I know more about fucking uh, game lore than I do about, like, what happened in fucking 1876. Well, see, because this implies that Ethan knows what's Ethan actually going on, so he does have some knowledge Stay of um, away. what she's really up Forget to. She's not just like some kind of escort babysitter thing. Have a good life. You didn't even send it. I don't see the process on that. <laughs> I fucking love that. See, she's obviously a genetically modified kid sent out to do all of this. Um, I, what is it? I think because you go back into the the labs with Ethan and whatnot. Um, or you know, am I thinking not a hero? Now do you remember? No, I think yes, you go I through years, Ethan. I remember. It's been a while since I played it. Would be a family it. like before? No, Evie, we can't be a family. We were never. A family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Fucking little shit. But yeah, genetically modified kids like test shit out. They don't really understand how it works. Gotta keep an eye on her. And then obviously went rampant here. Got this weird fixation on wanting a family. Hence the plots of um, this game. Genetically modified little shit. Let's put it that way. Let's see, that's the stuff that got taken over to the house. And, uh, lock pick for that. Machine gun ammo. Hemp fluid. Finding all kinds of shit. But, because we never technically eroded that, so Evie kind of flung it open. Yeah, she's the first uh, E type uh, bioweapon. That's why um, it's kind of cool that the hints for that are actually like way earlier in the game. Whereas a picture of the grandma, you flip it over, it says like E 001. It's just what. It's stuff like that that really makes like um, repeat playthroughs such a joy. Cause then you're like, oh yeah, all this stuff was actually here from the literal fucking beginning. <laughs> Alright, we need a thing for that. God, this game looks really fucking good. It's just even like the reflections and like the, the, the detail on these walls is pretty nice. I was about to say, she's climbed this ladder, like, really freaking slow, but admittedly, it'd probably be even faster than what I'm doing, because I don't like heights. Uh, because her whatever it is, um, because of rapid aging, yeah. 
So what is it? It's like after this tanker, she's still a little kid. They see her like she's a little kid, but then she becomes grandma. Maybe it still works. And it's cool that the hints are there that there's literally no pictures of um, of grandma around. It's literally just Lucas, Jack, and uh, Marguerite's. Ethan. Grandma's not in the picture. So you're like, okay, what the fuck's going on here? Why is no one mentioned her? Why is she not accounted for? Okay. Bottom level. Um, yeah, she just has a rapid aid. Liar! Stop it, Evelyn! Yeah, she has the rapid aging, Fucking and then every time she, she appears or does something like that, it's Where just is she? not a mental projection, but it's, it's something to do with the, the virus. Like, that that's the image that she's projecting. Like, she's in your head, and then somehow her source body, her main body, which is the grandma, is able to send those signals over. And that, that's kind of the part that's just like, don't think about it too much, because... It's games, it's horror. Um, every, every kind of plot kind of falls apart, like, the further you dig into it. So, just don't think about it too much. There is a Zoe picture in the beginning after the first fight with Jack in the house. Yeah, there's a Zoe picture. Just not one of, uh, of Grandma. Alright, so we got the winch. We need to come back here for the weapon, the uh, machine gun later. Did I already get everything else? So there's the stairs. And that just loops back around, right? Yeah, okay. But now we can at least open the elevator. We out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I hear shit growing. Let's see, we got a replacement we had to fix on. Oh, fucking. Okay, shit, it's down there. Um, we had to use to fix something in the third floor sick bay. Okay. How do we... Well, at least we have a knife. We got no arms, buddy. Alright, there's nothing really for us here. We can't deposit that still. There's no real reason to put away anything we have. Here, I'll get rid of those. Actually, no. Get one back, just in case. Perfect. Save, because why not? Corrosive. Evie's upstairs. She's everywhere. Handgun ammo. Uh, director Alan Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. The one thing you don't like about Resident Evil 6 is Jack Mueller being Wesker's son. I mean, I, I'm not one for like fan service -y stuff about like characters like being related to each other. It doesn't necessarily mean anything substantial for me. I realize a lot of people do like that. Um. It never necessarily goes anywhere. Like, he doesn't have like some weird moral conflict. Like he knows at heart, like he's a good dude. So doesn't necessarily super mean a lot for me. Oh, you know what? We have a bomb though. Let's. Oh, yours are just straight up dead. Nice. I do like Jake as a character, though. It's a shame we never really got a follow-up to what he's up to. Here's a big-ass knife. At least it looks like it. Did another one spawn in? 
There's big old creepy music. Yeah, Jake as a character is cool. I like his uh, melee fighting style too. You said Jack because of this game. Oh. <laughs> See, won't open. We gotta make it look like that. Let's see, this one is. And the splotch is top left. There we go. Plenty of corrosives. Alright. Um, we can use the stairs, but let's go over here. Hi, buddy. Just gonna run past you. Can you actually open the door? Nope. You can just be pissed off about it. I think there's a bobblehead around here, too. Yeah, I need a gun, though. All I have is bombs. Lockpick. So, come back when I can. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh! Shit. I got... I got way too cocky there. But, I killed them both. So, that works out pretty well for me. So, 16 years after the Raccoon City incidents. Please don't tell me there's another. Alright, so let's melt you. You know what? I can get the gun now from upstairs. Yeah, I missed the bobblehead. I just don't have a gun to get it right now. But I will go back for it. Captain. Oh no, that's what I needed. It was a key, not the corrosive. So yeah, let's get the bobblehead. I'm sorry, we didn't get the gun. Then get the bobblehead, and then let's. Then we can go to the first floor. I think it said something. I think it said there was something on the third floor too. Yeah, the third floor is where I need to wind up because I have the corrosives. But that's going to be hard to do if I don't have a gun, so got to make that the priority. I don't think I have any more bombs, though, so I got to be mindful of that. All right, there's going to be a liquor around here. Nope. Nope. Hopefully he doesn't flank around. God, they're like right outside the door too. <laughs> Yeah, there. Here, let's... Because we need some health. We need at least one. Come on. Or no, we can just run past him. 
We don't really need anything else over here. So let's go down. Get the bobblehead. And we kill everyone over here, so we're in a good spot. Oh yeah, I have bombs. Nice. Don't know why I was under the impression I had zero. Let's go back to the first floor, see if there's anything we can use. Let's go over here. Handgun. Let's reorganize a bit. Save. I guess I could have grabbed the handgun like way earlier on if I just like kind of darted, but not super necessary. Oh, fuck it, shit. Just move. I need to shit. Come on. Okay, I got it all turned around. Okay, so this is the room I came from. I don't know why he thought there was another behind me. I could have sworn there was. Don't have enough space. Let's make space. Then let's just use these. something over here. Corrosive. Had to close the stream, kept loading because the download. Oh, no worries. Got a backpack. Corrosive. Gun, herb. No bomb or no bomb. Psycho stimulants help out so much for clearing out rooms. Alright, there's a item in here. I know I have the knife, but whatever. So we got the one from the first floor. How's my health? Oh yeah, she doesn't have a thingy. Guess I can't really tell. Just have to play it by ear. Wait, how did I... No, there should be a... There we go. Alright, so let's just slap this one in. Oh wait, it's this one, right? General Fuse. There we go. So I need to go to the third floor. If you beat the game within four hours, you'll never need the stimulants. Yeah, I can see that.
This is probably the fastest I've gotten through the game, but it's probably not saying too much. Alright, you're dead. I admire your completion time on this. Your longest run was nine hours. Yeah, it's always going to be like the first playthrough where you're like trying to soak in every detail and you don't know where everything is or what's due. It's going to be the longest. And like all the repeat ones, like Resident Evil 2, I can, I can go through pretty damn freaking easy now. Even more so uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake. I think that's just... Oh, I forgot about you. Got these for days, so let's go, buddy. <laughs> Can't even do any. Oh. Exploded on me. Poor guy, he couldn't even do anything. Just kept knocking him down. Alright, so. Here's that coupling. Yeah, my, my initial run throughs of Resident Evil games in particular are pretty slow. I like to take my time and then subsequent playthroughs or whatever. I think there's going to be a second one in here, right? That door just doesn't want to open. Keep this out. Still no idea how no one notices this tanker popping up out of fucking nowhere. Oh yeah, I have a lockpick, so let's um, get that going. All right, let's plop this bad boy on in. All right, we are good to go. I think I have to go, what, S2? Nope, nah, wrong floor, wrong floor. <laughs> God damn it, my fucking potato aim over here. Oh, fuck. There we go. I really don't remember having this many bombs. I guess I... Oh, I, no, I guess I only have three. I don't know why I thought I had like nine or something. There 
There you go. idea why they blow up they just do but I won't argue against it because I love it <laughs> antique coin Ethan's over there but is there anything over here? There we go. Ethan. They go through such lengths to hide his face. Ethan. Oh yeah, this part makes literally no sense whatsoever, but I love it because it makes no fucking sense. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. But what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Yeah, just leave the strange child and walk away. Oh, you're, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen. Uh, Oh, you know, I never really thought about that. She's the key. All right? You find her, and you stop her. Ethan. Free my family. Because she wanted a dad, which she knew was Ethan, so she got Mia to bring Ethan along. I just never really pieced that together, but... That's what repeat playthroughs are for. Yeah, that that whole sequence talking to Jack makes no sense, but I love it. He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't, don't hurt him. Silly, I told This is what it looks like inside an Oreo, by the way. Don't you dare. Yeah, pretty much since Alan died. <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Why are you destroying my Oreo prison? Oh. There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Wait, wait, wait. That would have been at least like, what, 30 minutes or something? Longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! 
No! Too bad, Ethan. All right. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Thankfully, all of our stuff magically winds up in an item box. It's all your fault. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, Ethan was holding his breath for a real long time, and look at all these dead fish. Totally healthy pool of fish here. Damn, this tank is fucking huge. There's a helicopter. That would be Chris Redfield over there. Yo, know, Ethan, you can climb on top of this. You don't have to go under, buddy. With a dead fish in front of you. There is a bobblehead. I am short one fucking coin. I really wanted you. Is this the last opportunity to get stuff? Um. Either way, gotta get you. I'm almost tempted to look up to see if there's going to be like another antique coin. So it's the last chance to spend coins. Yeah, this is it. I have one shy of getting the Magnum. Man, I really should have just gotten, gotten it at the at the beginning, but I did not. So might as well get the steroids. Next playthrough I do, just getting the Magnum straight away. Actually, no, because like the first one you can get, it increases your health, and that's important. But, you know. Um... Oh yeah, let's, um, I don't think I missed anything over there. Nope, I totally did. Missed some really obvious stuff. 
Yeah, magnum ammo I can't even use. Damn, how much shit did I... M I am missing everything. They hide so much stuff. Maybe I should just focus on constantly using freaking um, psycho stimulants. Because, jeez. I am constantly missing these things. Oh yeah, I don't need these. Okay, right. Nope, I you keep it. Okay. Yeah, note to self, use those more often. They help. I would have missed so much of this stuff. <laughs> I like watching his shadow just swing this. have to be a little cautious here. Alright, let's retreat back and use these to my advantage. Let's go ahead and use another psycho stimulant. No bombs. They're very useful. Of course, they spawn right behind. This game could do. Could definitely use some enemy variety, but it is what it is. Push. Too late. Alright. 
Anything over here? I think my stimulants probably wore out, right? I wish there was probably just like a timer on screen that would let you know exactly. It kind of has like a fisheye distortion. But that's about it. That's a bomb, right? There we go. Oh no, Psycho Stimulant's still on. Nero rounds. That's a nice way to know if there's uh, explosives in there or not. I should also really focus on using Psycho Stimulants because they uh, give you antique coins and I have been missing many of those. So just stuff revealing Lucas is in on all this and feeding info to an outside company. Let's go over that. Testing and whatnot. Put in the cells or samples, whatever. Don't know how any of this works, but it looks cool. All fun lore stuff that you probably already know. Beating this. I think we're pretty damn close, right? Actually, you know what? Yeah, I should I should save the rest for like a follow-up stream. I'll do on like Monday or something. So let's go ahead and organize. Let's go ahead and save this. Gotta leave something for the next stream. So yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. That's over here on Twitch. You can go ahead and follow for free and see whenever I'm going live and whatnot. That's absolutely free. I don't think I'm applicable to be subscribed to because I'm not an affiliate yet, but whatever. Here for fun. On YouTube, you can find a plethora of my video essays as well as my podcast, where full episodes are uploaded, as well as individual segments, usually ranging around the 10 minute or so marks for easier digestion. Uh, the aforementioned podcast is recorded live here on Twitch on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST. Uh, so you can catch that live, and you can catch it on YouTube later, as well as podcast services. Um, I also do a bunch of news article write-ups and whatnot which you can find on my medium accounts all the links for every single thing i've mentioned are down below in the description on the link tree um yeah it's gonna be about it thanks for hanging out uh nightbreed gamer thanks for hanging out man always a joy to have you here while we're going through some resident evil so yeah all right i will see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>